This is the Ant-Man VF290 mini projector. Now, this is a decent projector if you want to take to you on your travel, in your office to show your presentations, or you just want to keep back in your room or your garage or your back of your yard with your friends to watch some movies, sports, whatever. You can do it with this projector right here. Very lightweight, only three quarters of a pound. You can fit in the palm of your hands. Or if you got big pocket, you fit in big pocket. You got a nap stack, you fit in the nap stack. Your purse, whatever, it will fit. You got a nice LCD bulb. It's not the brightest, but in the low light, it is perfect. It shows so bright when the room is dark. Now, this projector comes with a HDMI cable, a HDMI dongle, remote, battery not included, and it does not come with a stand. And the only negative, there's a few negative, but what are the negative is, it does not have a built-in battery like some of them. But it got some nice connections right here. You got the IR blast, IR sensor. This is where you're going to connect your power brick, which comes with it as well on the manual. HDMI 2.0. Right here with the USB, you can connect your sticks or where you can watch your videos, your movies, or your pictures, whatever you want to do. Got some connections right here if you don't want to use a remote. On top, it's nice built, flush right in. Right here, you got the speaker, 4 ohms, 2 watts. It's okay. It's, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. Got a USB Type B right here. Connect, can charge your devices. And what I would suggest, if you're going to get this projector right here, I would suggest if you have all the iPhones except for the 15, you can get this authentic Lightning, the HDMI. You're going to get the job done. Or you could pick up a simple 4K type c to hdmi you could use it on the new iphone 15 because the new iphone 15 uses usb type c and this projector you can connect to wi-fi with the functions and wi-fi it's compatible with the ios and android so you can connect this right here got a got a wi-fi built in so you're going to connect it i'm going to show you earlier i'm going to show you in the video connect your ios and android device with this project right here and this is you got you got a good combination of picture quality ease of use and it's very convenient. It's not going to replace your TV, but it will get the job done. It's great. I said the picture is great. Color is great. Everything is great about this projector. And you also can, if you want, you can also get a 10% discount through this video. I'll leave the code and the link in the description. All right. So also one thing about this projector, I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, which I'm going to go over it again. Nice LCD bulb. The native resolution of this projector is a 480p but upscales to 1080p in a blink of an eye is great. The light coming out of it is an LED light. You got a manual focus right here. Manual, yeah, that's a focus. And it gets the job done. Pretty, it's pretty decent. The projecting distance is, is 3 to 16 feet, which is 1 to 5 meters in distance. The projection size is 22 inches up to 170 inches. That's not too bad. 16.9 for, for the aspect ratio. The projection ratio is 1.35 1, 1. to 1. The power, all, the power break you can see with a 12 volt, 2.5 amps, not bad. Like I said, for video, you got the HDMI, uh, you got the other connection right there. Nice, pretty stuff. It supports audio support of MP3, WMA, all the good stuff. It's the same thing with photo, JPEG, all the good stuff. It's, it's, a good, it's a good projector. So let's just go ahead and just um, connect this bad boy up to some devices. I'm going to kill the light so you can see how, how good it looks. Before I kill the light, I'm going to show you the devices I'm going to connect with this projector right here. First, with my gaming laptop, my Lenovo gaming laptop, my iPhone 13, and my Samsung tablet. So I'm going to kill the light in 3, 2, 1, now. So before I connect it to my um, laptop, I just want to show you some settings. You can always go into movie, picture, all these little settings right here for, on your projector. And also, you can also connect, go into settings. There's some things in settings you're going to like, like for video settings. You got the picture mode. You can you go to user, select the brightness, contrast, all the good stuff. You can do that in there. You can select the aspect ratio and other little things which you will find useful. The sound, you can go into sound. It doesn't come with uh, the EQ. It only comes with treble and bass. You go into the user. That's all you're going to get, treble and bass, nothing much. All right, let's get out of here real quick. And also, you got, it comes with surround sound. It's not the best, so I just leave it off. And for projection, you can, you can mount it on the wall or to the side. So for the projection settings, you can go to rear, front, front ceiling, rear ceiling. You can do all of that. 
and for the system settings you've got all the things right here you can select your languages you got to connect to Wi-Fi which I'm going to show you in the settings real quick for the mirroring you can connect this projector many ways on um, by Wi-Fi you got the Android iOS screen the, the Android screen all these are going to connect via Wi-Fi so you're going to, so I'm going to go through that later but what are you going to do go into the screen settings you're going to connect to your network and then you can also go into the system upgrade to upgrade it if you, you can do it via Wi-Fi or if you go on the website and download it and then that's it get out of there so I'm going to connect it first with HDMI so now I'm going to, have to find where my Spider-Man at there it is I was playing Spider-Man Man Morales I connected to this projector and it upscales pretty good it looks pretty good right for a mini projector and it's smooth too nice and I'm getting I'm getting a few the FPS you can show me right now so you could connect it and play games with your friends and whatnot and mini projector get the job done mirror casting screen mirroring on the iphone with this projector for some reason it does not want to play nice so if you want to play your games from your iphone or watch your movies like your netflix or your amazon prime from your iphone i would suggest you use the dongle that'll be the best option if you got an iphone all the way x all the way up to 14 yes with the iphone 15 you already know usb type c to hdmi dongle so just going to connect it up right quick i'm going to connect the hdmi to my iphone instantly instantly do you see that so now let's let's just go to amazon prime video let's watch the movie real quick and then let's see how it looks instantly it looks fantastic it looks fantastic for for mini projector with all fairness of the video, if you want to connect the iOS device, you just got to go right here to the iOS screen and hit it. And this is all the information on how to connect to your projector with your iOS screen. In. Like I said, you can you can use the dongle if you want. You can also use you can use your screen screen mirroring if you want, but it works perfectly fine. But I would go with the dongle. But for Android, it works perfectly fine. So let's get out of here real quick. Go to Android screening. This is how you're going to do it. This is the only way it's going to connect. So I'm going to go to Android screen. The device I'm going to be using, let me show you real quick. I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy Tab 9 S Plus. This is a big boy right here. So let me just open this up real quick. So with the Samsung devices, all you got to do, you got to go all the way down to screen. And you're, going to, you're going to select Smart View. I select smart view it's going to come up as projector 71 f3 you hit it I'm going to hit start now just like this start now that's with the samsung devices it's going to take a few seconds probably like eight to ten seconds and boom you're automatic automatically connected now this is the beautiful thing once you're on the same wi-fi network it works perfectly fine as i'm going to show you you're going to go back to the same Amazon Prime videos right here and it does it perfectly fine and like I said you could also use a dongle as well see it plays instantly and there is no lag in between no lag the lag lag is almost non-existent and the audio comes through the speaker on this projector it works perfectly fine as you can see right here for yourself overall it's a decent projector it's, it does it it does what it's supposed to do it projects and it does it with great quality as you can see in the dark when it's a whole lot of light like this it's not the best it looks pixelated but once you turn off the light man it's like it's like a diamond in the sky it just shines bright this is a great projector very affordable like i said i'll leave the link in the description with the with the discount code great projector and only thing I wish, I wish this projector comes with a comes with a battery, you know, so you could like um charge it up 
and put it in your pocket or take or in the bag and just use it a little bit then afterwards you just charge it again if this had a battery this would be a definite win for me but overall it's still a great projector you can mount it to your wall to your roof whatever you want to do take it wherever you want to go and again it's very 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 light great projector i like it very much this is a to me this is a this is a good buy for your kids and for whatever you wanted to do so the ant map vf290 mini projector go ahead go on amazon pick up this bad boy and um enjoy it and like i said i can leave some link in the description for some dongles if you're interested and um that's about it i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching